Hi, this is Chloe Laman, August 9, 2007. I wanted to give you a crash course today about heavy metal detox, especially how to detox from aluminum toxicity. Aluminum, um, very, uh, very spread out um, in your kitchen. So you might actually ingest it very easily from there. Uh, you can find it in cans soda cans, uh, soup cans, any kind of conserves um, it will all be also be present in pans such as Tefal and all the other uh, non-sticky pan actually use aluminum so when they start getting old or they, when they are st when you scrape them with, a, with your fork uh, while cooking you may actually get uh, infected uh, after eating out of that pan. Now um, a way to detox and chelate um, aluminum is through the use of two kind of uh, uh, supplements that sometimes are actually the same uh, both acid and uh, amino acid and acid supplements in general so for example what do I say by that well amino acids you probably heard of them you got all kind uh, niacin, uh, glutathione, or li lysine you name it selenium whatever and in terms of acids you have vitamin C for example which is acid to the taste if you remember what lemon juice tastes like uh, vitamin C uh, and or any, any kind of acid compound is good to detox heavy metal now um, let's let's do um, uh, let me tell you more about how much uh, how much investment in um, amino acid you're gonna you're gonna need um, if you buy uh, a bottle of glutathione plus for example it's an excellent product uh, by the way to detox uh, aluminum glutathione plus by Douglas laboratories now you can see this bottle you've got uh, 60 caps in there and if you look at the composition in the back it actually have 50 milligrams per cap of glutathione and 440 milligrams of uh, cysteine and 10 milligrams of vitamin C. Now, you're gonna need to take about six or seven of those pills a day. So it means that you're gonna need about three bottles a month. Three bottles a month is bottle cost thirty dollars. You do the math, ninety dollars per month. Now, that's not really affordable. So, you might want to just go to Trader Joe's, get some vitamin C crystals. How much? $10. You can get some cysteine in bulk. $8 for 83 grams. And you can get the, the glutathione, 20 grams for $7. And with that, you can be up and running for 5 or 6 months for minimum amount of thirty dollars so that, that that's the way to go um, except you have to you got to indulge the taste of it which is as I said more acidic than anything else so you might want to get that in with the fruit juice for example some um, some other um, bulk um, amino acid you can get glutamic acid Taurine, used by bodybuilder, it gives you a hot flush, it's great. With your blood pressure inc increased, you actually uh, cleansing yourself out from heavy metal. Aspartic acid, excellent. And then lysine, anything you can find in bulk, which is uh, an amino acid or acid, or terms the, the, the term acid is good for you, uh, with the exception of vitamin C, which uh, is acid but does not have anything think acid in the name and then you can also find some very good uh, supplements also to help you out uh, with uh, your detox um, which are not amino acids and which are not acidic but for example you can find some coriander seed now coriander seed is also called cilantro cilantro seeds and it has a very good chelator effect on mercury for example uh, quassia it's a bark anything that is bark is very good 
uh, to detox your bowels, uh, knowing that most amino acids get stuck in the bowels because they are just before they weigh out, uh, unfortunately enough, they get stuck and that's why you need amino acid and um, to get them out. Cloves, very good blood cleanser, whole cloves here. So all, all those kind of bulk uh, bulk bags that I show you are between uh, 2 and $8. So it's actually a very good um, uh, a very good and uh, affordable way to detox from aluminum poisoning. You can also get like this selenium, but this is so cheap, it's like $2 a bottle that you don't even bother with a bulk. Um, you can also find some uh, so, some product like that, even at Walmart, and they're actually pretty good. Uh, like CoQ10, if you're... Now CoQ10 is good because I don't know much about how much it helps getting out, out the heavy metals, but what's for sure is that heavy metals damages cells, and CoQ10 restores and rejuvenates cells, so it helps also create new ones. So you want actually to to take that as a supplement. It's going to help you a lot. Now, you might want to take more than it's prescribed, uh, and uh, sometimes it, it gives you a hot flush, CoQ10. Uh, for example, here it tells you you take one, one daily. Well, I take about five or six daily. I'm telling you the five or six time what it says on the bottle. Pro if you take them progressively and you progressively get to six a day, that's fine. Now, niacin, niacin definitely gives you a very hot flush. So you might not want to get your um, six at the same time unless you already you are at the gym ready to exercise and then you're gonna get stronger fast I'm telling you now I see now now you gotta when you want to check how much there is per cap like for example there there is 500 milligrams per cap but it makes a big difference especially with um, if I backtrack a little bit with CoQ10 I mean this is a hundred milligrams one but you, you can find caps nowadays uh, up to 400 milligrams of CoQ10 a cap so of course whether you have if you take six of those, that's fine. If you take six of 400 milligrams, well, you might uh, get diarrhea or any kind of a uh, nauseated feeling, uh, and I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, you got to be uh, responsible when doing this kind of detox. Uh, garlic oil, very good for blood cleansing. Of course, it gives you bad breath. Um, well, uh, what's the time? Okay. Um, well, I went over pretty much um, the idea of uh, aluminum detox. Uh, I wish you enjoyed the program. If you have any question, simply go to chloriaman.com or uh, find me on YouTube. Thanks. Bye.